We say that a function is continuous on an interval if it is continuous at all points in that interval. So um, there's also a concept of continuity at the endpoints. All right, there's a con concept of right continuous and left continuous. So if we can, if if a function is continuous from the right, that just means as we approach the endpoint um, from the right that it's continuous. Okay, so the limit as x approaches a from the right. Um, of f of x is equal to f of a. All right, and then we say that that's right continuous. All right, um, and then which which makes sense, and um, it's continuous from the left if we approach um, that left endpoint from the left, um, and the value of the limit is equal to the value of the function. Okay, so now the function is not continuous at um, like let's take, let's take a look at this example here. Um, this this first one. This is not continuous at a because the limit. So the limit as x approaches a, if we don't distinguish between left and right of f of x, does not exist, right? Because we don't even it's it can't we can't approach it from it's undefined at least the way it's graphed here. Um, it it's undefined when x is uh, less than a, right? So we can't approach it from the left. Same way over here, this limit um, at the um, at the endpoint b, right? The limit as x approaches uh, b of this g of x function does not exist, right? Because we can't approach it from the left and the right. But um, in the first case, right, we say that it's right continuous because if we can approach it from the right, okay, um, that limit from the right is equal to the value of the function, okay. Um, and over here, if we approach it from the left, the value of the limit from the left is equal to the value of the function, okay. So I think that this left and right continuous thing can be a little confusing because it's the <laughs> The the left hand endpoint is included when it's right continuous, and the right hand endpoint is is included in the interval if it's left continuous. So I feel like it's a little bit confusing, but um, just think about your think about the limit, the limit as x approaches um, that endpoint from the right. Right means that if if it is continuous at, from the right, then the um, then the limit from the right is equal to the value of the function. Okay, so um, I was going to leave this out, but then there's some there's some questions in the online homework that uh, involve left and right continuous functions, so um, I left it in. All right, let's take a look at this next example now. We want to determine the intervals on which the following functions are continuous. All right, so let's take a look at with this we have a rational function, right? So we want to figure out where where the denominator is zero. So I'm going to factor the denominator if I can, right? So it looks like uh, factors of 10 or negative 10 that add to negative 3. It looks like I'm going to get x minus 5 and x plus 2, right? That'll do it. So it looks like um, we have discontinuities, right? I'll just write that out. Discontinuity, discontinuity um, at um, x equals negative two and five. Okay, so, but it's asking for the intervals on which the function is continuous. Okay, so we want to write that in interval notation. It's continuous on continuous on everywhere else, right? Continuous on, and we're going to write this in interval notation, okay? So we have minus infinity to negative 2, and then union uh, negative 2 to 5, and then union of that with 5 to infinity. Okay, so that's how we would write that in interval notation. Now, I believe on, in the online homework, they ask you to, 
to uh, write the intervals with commas in between. So just read carefully <laughs> when you go to do the online homework because they don't want unions, they want commas. But um, so, um, okay, let's look, look at this next one. Now we can tell already that um, if x is zero, we have a problem, right? Now I could write this as x to the fourth, oops, make that look like a four. Um, plus 1 over x squared. That's the same thing, right? If I just multiply this by x to the f x squared over x x squared, right? Then I'll, then I can combine it into one uh, fraction. But it really doesn't matter. The, um, the issue is that we have a discontinuity. This, oops, discontinuity at x equals 0, right? But it's continuous everywhere else. So, um, so this function is continuous, continuous on, okay, and again we're going to use interval notation. So negative infinity to 0 and then 0 to infinity everywhere but where it's not continuous, right? <laughs> that function or that um, point at x equals zero is not in the domain of this function. Everywhere else it's continuous. All right, well, now why do we care about continuity? All right, I'll meet you in the next video to talk about that.